Welcome back everyone, Robert Dempster here. So, we've created our character. Now we're going to create some more uh, more precise extrusions from this model. Uh, so there might be something very particular that you want to uh, extrude out. It could be part of the shoulder plate um, or, you know, some sort of detailing on the arm. Let's see if we can do that. Now we're going to switch from the carve tool and we're going to go down to... Where are we? So on the objects layer, we're going to go down to the Vox layer. So if you select Vox layer, it's going to come up with the tool options. I'm just going to remove this symmetry for now. So I'm just going to close that down. Still got the symmetry on. I've just to turn off the, um, the toolbox. So how does the Vox layer work? If I just turn off the black layer and I'm going to turn that little sphere back on on the blue layer, we're going to use this one as our base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E on the keyboard and I'm going to select my vertex lasso tool and I'm going to select an area. So I'm going to select this little shoulder here and I might just make some sort of custom design here. So select around here. And then I'll double click. So that has selected that entire area. There is a little bit of a selection here. If you want to get rid of anything, then you can select around that area whilst holding control, double click, and that will remove it. And there's a little area here that didn't select, so I'll just double click that. So we can um, we can use the cutoff tool if we need to uh, make this a little bit neater, but for now, I'm just going to select that. I've also just realized that the symmetry isn't on on this blue character, so I'm going to need to turn symmetry on. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to uh, clear my selection and do that again because <laughs> I want that symmetry on. So I'm just going to very quickly do the same thing. Let's select around here. That looks okay. In fact, for these purposes, I hate to digress. Um, I'm just going to cut straight through, okay, and then we can create our custom design afterwards. Okay, so I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll do something for the forearm as well. I could do something for the legs. I'm just going to follow this shape here. Um, okay, same for the calves. Maybe something here. And, you know, I could just keep going if I wanted to. Yeah, that looks quite cool. So with that selected, I can go ahead and click apply. And that's going to create a new copy. And it's going to put that directly on top of our model. Now, when you press E, there's this setting here that says ignore back faces. With that selected, anything that I select in the fourth foreground it's not going to select anything in the background okay so if we want this to go all the way through and wrap all the way around then we need to have that selected so if I just go back I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to clear this selection again if I press E on the keyboard and then untick ignore back faces when I select the lasso tool again this time it's going to select the entire object so I'll just do that again uh, I need to make sure I'm selecting on the um, the blue. So I'm going to select this, double click, select the forearm. Okay. And you can be more precise. I'm just very quickly selecting these. Okay. And then we can go ahead and click apply and this time it will wrap around. So whatever whatever was in the front is also going to be in the back. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we can use this on our design. I could hide that blue layer and now we've got this cool armor, which I could change the texture if I wanted to. I could go over to, uh, let's try metal and add a metal color on this armor. Uh, let's just select this one. 
there we go and then I can select the black again and now we've got that metal armor showing through very cool and then any areas that are kind of poking through we could go back to that black layer and then remove it or what you can do is we could do something like a, a transform on this new copy so I'll just call this uh, metal and we could use that transform just to extrude this out slightly or if there's something very specific that you want to move then you can use this pose tool and I'll just try and find pose so we've got pose tool and we can press E on the keyboard and use this vertex lasso again and we can select let's say the shoulder plate and just to make sure press E on the keyboard and always make sure this ignore back faces is unticked if you want the entire thing to select if you only want something that's in the foreground to be selected then make sure that's ticked in this case we want it unticked so now with that pose tool selected I can actually move this into place I could rotate it and get that exact location where I want it okay and you could do the same throughout so maybe this section here just double click and make sure that's selected didn't select all the way through so I'm just gonna press enter to undo that and then select this part and double click okay and then I'll just move this down slightly and because we've got that symmetry on it is gonna do the same thing on the other side which is great okay so you can be as precise as you want I'll do the same thing here just double click we'll move this over and you might not want it so bright but I usually select a brighter color just so I can see what I'm working with and then I'll change the color afterwards so I might not want it gold I might want it black again okay but now we can't see the objects as much very cool so there's two different ways there I'm just gonna go and go back to this blue character so I'm gonna turn all of this off and go back to blue uh, let's just change that back to blue okay and I'm gonna go back onto my box layer and I'm gonna clear that selection this time I'm gonna select the entire object okay so let's just select something like this So this way you could actually create an entire suit of armor that's going to wrap all the way around the character but it will have individual pieces okay so let's try maybe something like this i don't know why you would have a hole there anything that you want to kind of undo you can hold control and then you can change the design that way okay you can keep going again you can make this as, as custom as you want I'm just going to very quickly select all of this okay and then when you're done you can hit apply you can change the thickness if you th feel like it's maybe too thick or it's too thin you can change this thickness uh, for now two seems to be okay there's sometimes a glitch where uh, two is really big uh, I'm not too sure why that happens I'm pretty sure it's a glitch if that happens to set the number much lower but by default two should be okay so now we've got our suit here yeah we could again change the texture and there we go so you might just want to use this as a base to draw on so you could have that you could go on to render and do a nice render of it and then put that into Photoshop and then start drawing on top and changing that design because maybe you want some sort of cut lines here you want to add custom decals and you can do all of that in Photoshop so 
with that Vox layer, it just gives you the flexibility of creating something out of this, you know, stock model. And uh, you're going to create some custom shapes with it very quickly, very easily. And then you can start refining that, putting it into Photoshop and drawing on top. Then you could go back into 3D Coat and cut it out very precisely based on that drawing. Okay, so again, this is mostly for concept art. Uh, you can do this for your, you know, main character as well, but you're going to want to be much more precise uh, when you're creating that character. But yeah, okay, so this is that version. Let's just go back to Sculpt, and I'm going to turn this copy back off. In fact, let's just see what th that looks like with our character. I don't mind this. I think this looks pretty cool, this bit here. So I might just keep that. And in fact, I like this bit as well. There's certain areas I want to keep. So I'm going to use that cutoff tool and I'm going to untick that ignore back faces because I want to cut off everything. I'm going to use that vertex lasso and just cut certain areas that I don't want. So I'm just going to cut all this off. Don't need any of that. I'm going to turn that metal one back on. So now we've got multiple layers there, which is quite cool. Um, I might keep that, I might keep that, I might just delete this one. In fact, I won't delete that one. We'll use that pose tool and we'll just move it out slightly. So we've got multiple layers now. There we go. So it's really starting to, to take shape now. And we've just used that tool multiple times, laid it on top and then use that pose tool just to, you know, move it around. Okay, so that just about covers this lesson. Next lesson, we're going to get into texturing this character. So I'll see you in the next video.